Here with head coach Brad Laird, Demons' first day in full pads. And coach, uh, perhaps more importantly than just the first day in pads, you're about a week into camp. Do you feel your own schedule? You know, a lot of new stuff with the coordinators. Everybody kind of feeling about ready, about where they should be? Yeah, I think more importantly, talking about, you know, what we hear, whether we're in full, whether we're in shells, whether we're in soft shells, is, uh, is the consistency and execution. And, you know, we, we're day six, practice six into it. Um, you know, as, as we keep installing in all three phases, that's why, that's why we've got we to continue to keep up. Um, you know, the, the, the consistency has not been there um, like I would like it. Um, yes, we, it is early on, but, um, you know, from an offense and defensive standpoint, you know, the guys got to understand that, that every part of practice is important. You know, it's, uh, we're in full pads today. We, you know, there was a few live sessions, but there was other sessions that were, uh, that were thud where we're staying up. You know, those are just as important as the ones that are uh, full go. And I think for us realizing that in practice and, you know, understand what it's going to take uh, to become a better football team at the end of practice. And so, you know, that, that's something we got to still continue to work on. Um, you know, the, uh, the enthusiasm, the energy uh, has been up and down. Uh, it's, uh, you know, there's, it, it goes uh, throughout a 22 period practice. Uh, you know, the, uh, the highs and lows, we just got to be more even keel as we continue to go through practice. Are you seeing some guys emerge? So you, you've talked about it so much this offseason, so many new faces uh, blending with, with a lot of guys who were here, but some of the new guys kind of stepping forward and taking a leadership role the way you'd like them to? Yeah, I mean, you got, you know, I think, um, I think from an O-line standpoint, you know, we've got uh, probably the most new guys that have come in. Um, and you've seen some guys that, uh, that have stepped up there and, and, um, and, and trying to be a leader. And um, I think that carries over to the rest of the group. But, um, you know, I think as a whole, um, you know, whether it's newcomers that are coming in or, or, or guys that have been here, you know, we've got to see more of that um, player-led energy, player-led, um, you know, times during practice, um, you know. And, and I think that's something we're, we, we continue to talk about. And, and our guys will continue to get as we continue to move forward. And certainly with the schedule, seven road games this year, never, probably never more important uh, to be able to bring your own juice, bring your own energy. Yeah, and, and, and I mean, our guys, uh, you know, they're, they're very competitive. And, uh, but we can't go out there and do it. They can't go do it by themselves. And that's what we talked about yesterday. It's going to take somebody else to help me uh, as coaches, help me as players. Uh, to be able to move along and, and be the best that I can be. And so, you know, we've got to have guys that, that step up and encourage others. And it doesn't have to be somebody that plays. We're looking for any type of leaders, whether you're getting 20 reps or you're getting zero reps. So it's going to be important to, to watch this development as a team as the, the chemistry keeps building each day and the leadership continues to grow. All right, Coach, thanks so much.